In this video, I'm going to talk about the future, so will and be going to, with adverb clauses, specifically with adverb clauses that use time words and if. So let's do it. Adverb clauses, you remember, start with subordinating conjunctions when we register for class, while the song was playing, because the road is closed. So those are all adverb clauses. Subordinating conjunctions are often time words. So time words are subordinating conjunctions that talk about time. So let's look at our examples here. When we register for a class is when a time word. Is it talking about time? Yes, it is. How about while? Does while talk about time, when things happen? Yes. How about because? No, because it's not about time. It's about cause and effect. As soon as, is that talking about when something happens? Yes. How about until? Yeah, that's a time word. Before, yeah, that's talking about time. And of course, after, yes. So all of these start with one of those time word subordinating clauses. So we call them time clauses. The other thing we need before we continue is if clause. So an if clause is pretty simple. An if clause begins with if, like if the bad weather continues. Time clauses and if clauses look a little different in future tense. So here's our sentence. We have a main clause. Come back. We have a main clause. We will pay. So that's in future tense. Take a look at our time clause when we register for class. What do you notice? Let's look at another example. The audience will sing along. Here's our future in our main clause. But what about the time clause? Pay attention to the verbs. How about here? So now we have our main clause here. They are going to come, future. And our time clause is at the beginning, as soon as the snow stops. What do you notice about the verb? Another example, if the bad weather continues, the airports are going to close. So maybe here you've started to notice that even though our main clauses here are all in future, our if clauses and our time clauses don't use future tense. Register. Plays, stops, continues. What are, what are all of these verbs? Simple present. Here's another example. I will come to the party if I finish. Again, simple present. So, what's our rule for time and if clauses in the future? So, if the main clause is in future time or future tense, the meaning of the whole sentence is future. Everything in that sentence is talking about the future. But the actual verb tense in the time clause, or the if clause, is in simple present. So, they are going to visit their uncle. Here we have going to visit, that's our future tense. Now, we're going to put a time clause. When they have time. That's in the future as well, the meaning, right? But the actual verb tense, simple present. Let's try another one. He will celebrate his 21st birthday. What could we say here? After final exams are over. So here's my time clause. 
again, simple present. We are going to get a new printer. Here's our future. But in our if clause, we're going to use simple present if this one doesn't work. You think you got it? If not, feel free to watch again as many times as you want. If you have it, move on, start doing practice. And remember, practice makes perfect. All right, good luck.